Welcome to 30 Day Reviews. This is the beginner's guide to going bald. I'm Justin and I have been shaving my head now for right around 15 years. Now I remember when I first started, I ran into a few complications. So therefore I figured that I would share with you things that you need to know, whether you are going bald naturally, have medical reasons why you're going bald, or you just want to be bald just because you think that it looks good. This is going to be the guide that you needed. First off, I want to say that being bald is not no upkeep, however it is low upkeep. So pretty much this list of things that you need to know has to do with taking proper care of your head. Now the first thing to do to take care of that head and make it look the best that you can is to exfoliate before shaving. Now what this does is it helps you get rid of that very thin layer of dead skin and grime that maybe the regular soap wouldn't get rid of. And what that does and why you should do it if you're bald is it helps the razor blades get that much closer to your actual skin, which gives you a much smoother shave. I noticed that if I go a week or so without exfoliating, that I will be sitting there rubbing my head afterward and I can definitely feel a difference between when I exfoliate and when I don't. The next thing is to be moisturizing your head. That's right, I know it might sound kind of weird, but you definitely can get dandruff with a bald head. And believe me, it definitely shows up more on a bald head than it does a head with hair. So you're gonna wanna moisturize it. I would suggest if you get really, really dry, I would go ahead and buy some moisturizer that's made for the face and the hands and moisturize your head about every day when needed which usually it's going to be at least for me more during the winter months and the fall than it is during the summer now if you're like me and only dry out a couple months of the year and have facial hair i would definitely suggest just trying to rub any of the extra beard oils that you have on your hands after applying them to your beard on the top of your head because this will help moisturize your head and it's done very well for me. The next thing I would suggest is to definitely take your time when you're first starting to shave your head. The reasoning is because every head is different and you will have problem areas. Now for the first month or so that you are shaving your head, definitely take it a little slower, find out and get to know your head because you're probably not used to going over it with a razor blade and so it is definitely going to make all the difference in the future to make sure that you get in the habit of getting everything the first pass around. Like I have learned that I have a little crease in the back of my head. If I don't focus really well on that area when I'm shaving it, it's going to come out with a little bit longer hairs and it's going to be noticeable. So definitely for the first few months, make sure that you take your time. Don't be in a rush to shave your head quickly because you will definitely learn those little things that will help you in the future to be able to shave more efficiently and quicker. Now for my favorite tip is to cover your head. Your head is the one part of your body that no matter what way you turn, it's getting the sun. And believe me, you do not want a burnt head. It is horrible and you can't shave for a long time. And if you're like me, balding with the balding pattern, people start to notice that. Not only that, but peeling skin off your head is pretty gross. So definitely cover your head, wear sunscreen, wear a bandana, wear a baseball cap, whatever you need to do to cover your head because your head and your ears over here where you might not have normally gotten burnt will definitely get burnt if you're not careful. That being said, I do suggest making sure that you get at least a little bit of sun up on top of your cue ball. Just be very conscious about how much you're giving it. And lastly, for the gentlemen, if you can grow some facial hair, I highly recommend it, whether it's a full beard, a good looking mustache, or even what I've got here, a goatee, I highly suggest doing so because it will help 
your face kind of balance out because people are used to seeing hair up top, nothing on bottom. This just kind of flips it around. So it definitely helps kind of balance out your face a little bit. So if you can, I highly suggest growing a little bit of facial hair. And if you can't, well, keep on shaving your head anyway because it looks good. If you've been shaving for a while, I definitely want to see you down in the comment section putting down any tips, how long you've been shaving for, and how long it took you to decide that you wanted to shave your head. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.